Hello once again, I am Jim Ducart with TND How Videos. Today we are at a substation just outside of Troy, New York, and we will be watching National Grid install line watch sensors. Our participating utility is National Grid, and this video is sponsored by Burns and McDonnell. Now before we get to today's installation, I had a chance two days prior to this on site to talk to Casey Hayes, an advanced grid engineer with National Grid about what we will be watching today. This is a pretty common site. Uh, we have an older substation um, tied into the transmission grid and then uh, just a couple of distribution circuits coming off of it. Um, when this station was put in, um, there weren't any uh, primary PTs or CTs installed with it. Uh, and it's not remotely connected to SCADA or EMS. By putting in these uh, power monitors, um, we're able to get uh, full current and voltage monitoring at this station. We're going to be installing one of the kinetic uh, collector boxes, as well as the line watch sensors, which are up on the line above me. Um, together, they provide uh, full power monitoring to our substations or anywhere on the distribution circuit we deploy them um, accurate to half a percent on voltage and current. Yeah this is a new initiative at National Grid. Um, to date we've installed about 15 or so um, with plans of uh, more than 100. And the reasoning for that um, is there's a lot of uh, older legacy equipment in um, upstate New York and throughout the state um, where we have substations that don't have any monitoring at all. Um, and no connection to EMS and SCADA. Um, so by deploying these power line monitors, we're able to integrate that voltage and current data into our SCADA system and give operators uh, visibility into what's going on in the current and voltage waveforms. So thank you very much, Casey, for that. We are now back at the live installation, and the first task is to measure for and then place a collector box on this pole. You see him hand the collector box up in a moment here. That will collect the data from the line watch sensors which we are going to put on this line. And here you will see one of the crew members hand him a predetermined length of flexible conduit that encases the wires that go from the line down to the collector box. And now we see the line watch sensors being brought out and set on the truck. Notice they have numbers one, two, and three on them. We will see why in a little bit. In the meantime, we can hear some characteristics of the line watch sensor itself. Perfect, how much one of those weigh? I'd say probably about five pounds. Five pounds. Maybe less. And how do they close? The line like this. This is for the outer plant. This closes the entire, the entire outside on, this, on the wire. And then the inside here compresses the uh, bare wire for the signal conduction. That, that little antenna there points. Yeah, the antenna at the end of all the sensors, they broadcast the signal back to the, uh, the control box, the collector box. So now that we've seen the line watch sensors, let's go on up in the bucket truck and watch as he installs the first of these sensors. As we zoom in, you can see he is going to turn that clamp we just saw to tighten around the line. And we'll do the same thing here with the middle phase. So this is what that looks like from up above using the GoPro camera that our installer is wearing. And as he puts this line watch sensor around the line, listen as you'll hear the electricity of the energized conductor as the clamp closes around it. And so now watching from the ground again, we can remove this line sleeve and install the third of three line watch sensors. Again, going to the GoPro view, and you're going to hear the contact with the energized line again. And then he will make sure the antenna is clear to broadcast and tighten the clamp down securely with a screwdriver. 
And now as we look up at the line, you see one, two, and three, the numbers of the line watch sensors. We follow each of these lines down. We're gonna look into the substation and you're gonna see exactly how those three lines correspond to their positions of one, two, and three here through the fence, you can see it. So now that all three line watch sensors are installed, a few more things. Of course, we need to ground the collector box, then make some connections within it for its transmission and collection of data, and install a couple of antennas, small antennas on the top for cellular communications. And then we can go back up and make the connections to the secondary. I'm gonna check some voltage. Check voltage here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 122 volts. That's good. And then we are ready to make the controller box hot. Okay. Just checking. And there's just one more thing to show you. This is a calibration tool that the lineman is hanging on the line to test each of these three new line watch sensors. You're gonna see on the ground a laptop setup where they can test or check the data coming back from the calibration tool. You guys ready? And you'll also see him hang it from his hang point it. of view on the line. We're gonna move that tool from one to the next line to get all three lines. And with that, you have seen our line watch sensor installation video. Once again, our participating utility was National Grid. This video was sponsored by Burns and McDonald. I am Jim Ducart with TND How Videos. Thank you as always for watching.